Siddha Medicines to Cure Infertility Review In the modern lifestyle, infertility is gradually spreading its tentacles. The most important factor for infertility is ovulation disorders but there are other causes, which contribute to the condition too. For infertility, only women are not responsible. In 40% cases, the causes of infertility is male, 40% credit goes to female where both male and female are responsible for 10% cases. Siddha medicine, which is also known as Siddha Vedia, has many therapeutic values in curing and treating of infertility. Dot. There may be many reasons of infertility. Some of the important factors are being below. Problems in fallopian tube ovulation disorders, it is the most important factor for infertility. Polycystic ovarian syndrome PCOD, early menopause endometriosis medications, thyroid problems, diabetes, excess caffeine intake, cancer, benign uterine fibroids, pelvic adhesion stress and anxiety that lead to psychosomatic disorders. Obesity addiction cervicitis where the discharge kills the sperms. Hormonal imbalance sperm infections, viral, vaginal infections, venereal diseases. In Siddha, infertility is termed as maladu, where the mother is unable to get pregnant. There are six types of maladu. Kaga maladu, no issues after two babies. Kadalii maladu, no issues after one baby. Kanma maladu, frequent abortions. No issues. On maladu, it means weightless sperm. Pen maladu, bleeding during each menstrual cycle where bleeding may be yellow, pus and urine nirantara maladu, obesity siddha treats infertility as per the conditions of the individual person. Both external and internal medicines are used to cure infertility. Medicines like churnas, kashayas, legumes, mazugas, kuligais and arishtams are used in the treatment. These medications ensure maturation of follicles and proper development of egg. Chendorums and parpoms are used for positive results. It is advisable that the patient should continue the medicines for six months. All these medicines along with good diets are helpful enhance your sexual urge and stamina. One should try to bring all the three doses in equilibrium state. Certain yoga should be practiced after the consultation of yoga expert. Prefer those diets, which are beneficial to make your doses normal. Siddha medicated oils and fumigations are beneficial. Psychological aspects comprising physical and mental domains are utmost important. Sexual overindulgence should be avoided. Do yoga and meditation to contend stress and anxiety. Avoid eating hot and spicy foods. One should eat quinoa as it boosts the estrogenic activity. Pineapple is also good for overall health of ovum. Eating a balanced diet will be helpful to manage infertility. Here the list of diet is given, which are important to prevent infertility. Organically fresh fruits and vegetables. Juicy fruits such as mangoes, peaches, plums and pears. Dry fruits are equally important. Drinking of coconut water is extremely beneficial. Paneer and lassi whole grains and mung dal soaked walnut vegetable of banana some foods like milk, mango milkshake, ajwain powder, date milkshake, broccoli and asparagus are good for overall development of reproductive tissues. Eating a balanced diet will be helpful to manage infertility. Here the list of diet is given, which are important to prevent infertility. Organically fresh fruits and vegetables. Juicy fruits such as mangoes, peaches, plums and pears. Dry fruits are equally important. Drinking of coconut water is extremely beneficial. Paneer and lassi whole grains and mung dal soaked walnut vegetable of banana some foods like milk, mango milkshake, ajwain powder, date milkshake, broccoli and asparagus are good for overall development of reproductive tissues. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel.